Hey guys, Liv here, and I'm back with my November favorites. Yeah! And I have um, my Maybelline products and beauty products first. So first I have my Color Tattoo Metal by Eye Studio 24 Hour Eyeshadow Blah 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 and Barely Branded. Oh, I dropped it. And it's this nice champagne color. You can see in that. I hit pan. You can't really tell. It's like at the way bottom and sort of covered, but I hit pan. And I have a swatch of it on my wrist. And it's very champagne-y as you can see. I really like it. It's very pigmented. It stays on all day. I guess that's the purpose of the 24 hours I, I shadow, whatever. And yeah, the next product that I have is my Maybelline Baby Lips. And I love this stuff, but it's Dr. Rescue. So it's like medicated or whatever. And it's in Too Cool and it smells very, very minty. I really like the scent of it, and I don't know, I just, I just really like it. The next thing from Maybelline that I have is the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. It's the one in the blue tube, you know, just, yeah. Here's the wand. I'd give you a swatch, but I really can't, but that's the wand. It's very voluminous. I don't even know why I said that, but it's very volumizing. And yeah, the next product that I have is my Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup um, Foundation. And I really like it. It's very expensive. Not really, but it's not like high-end or whatever. It's um, around $12, but it does work. I have acne-prone skin. And it works a lot. And I like it. The next thing that I have is my liquid eyeliner from NYC. I don't really like it, but I've used it a lot, and yeah, it works, it does the job, but I suck at eyeliner, so there's some swatches of my very poorly drawn lines, maybe that's why, but yeah, um, it doesn't stay on, it smudges, I really don't recommend it, even though it's in my favorites video, oh well. And the last thing that I have for my favorite is my Hard Candy Nail Polish in Emerald Deep. I really like doing gradients with this nail polish because it's very, like, shiny and it reminds me of a mermaid. I don't know, I like it. It's around, like, $6. But, yeah. Now getting into miscellaneous stuff. First, I have Bath & Body Works products and I have a lot. Well, I have nine. Yeah. I have all of my eight hand sanitizers. Three of them are stress relief. I have the Ocean for Men, Fresh Balsam, Vanilla Be Noel, Candy Cane Lane, and Vanilla Snowflake. I hope that's eight. But yeah, that's all my hand sanitizers. Then I have my flannel um, candle by Bath & Body Works. I love this candle. I got it Black Friday. I don't care. If I got it at the end of November, it smells so good. I love it. It's very musky, and it smells like a man. And the description is, wrap yourself in a warm blend of bergamot, mahogany, and a delicate veil of musk. As I said, it does smell musky. And yeah. Um, the last thing that you can touch and feel and stuff is my books. And they are the none other than... Harry Potter series. Ooh, I am now a pothead. <laughs> yeah. It's not what you think. But I have read the first three fully. I really like the second one. Um, I'm not going to lie. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but I am reading the fourth one right now, which is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I am like a fourth of the way through the book. I'm page 145. And I think that's the beginning of chapter 9 maybe? Yeah, it's the beginning of chapter 10. The first one is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The second one is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And the third one is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And then, as I said, the fourth one is the Goblet of Fire. And now moving on to other TV shows and movies and phone cases. I have my phone case which says every revolution begins with a spark. I got this from Hot Topic. It was around $14.50 I think and I really like it. It really captures the idea of catching fire. 
And that that's the movie that I was about to talk to you guys about because it's the best movie I've seen so far. I really like it. It's very um, different, obviously. And I really like it. It's one of my favorite movies now. And then the last thing that I have... Oh, I shouldn't put that down. The last thing that I have for miscellaneous TV shows and whatnot is um, The Voice, which is my new favorite TV show. And I really like it. Now, moving on to music. I have, like, seven songs. So first I have Classic by NKTO. It's one of my favorite songs. I really like it. It's very truthful, though, sort of. Next, I have Story of My Life and Diana by One Direction, so that's two. So I have three so far. Hallelujah by Matthew Schuller, who sang it on The Voice, and I must say, that sounded very heavenly, and I really enjoyed it. Then Blonde by Bridget Mendler, Hung Up by Hot Shower A, and Replay by Zendaya. And I really like those songs, even though they've probably been out for a while, but, you know. So that's it. That is my November favorites, and I hope you guys liked it. So like, comment, subscribe, do what you want, and I'll talk to you in my next video, guys. I love you. Mwah!